friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Man spots a shady white man parked outside his house and decides to investigate. Written by Adam Staten, read by Adam Staten. One young man discovered an odd, somewhat unsettling sight. A white man parked on his property. But what he found after investigating the vehicle was something he never expected to find. The world can be a frightening, scary, and dangerous place. Television news stations and many different websites seemingly aim to keep their viewers and readers in a constant state of fear and panic. They produce story after story about the latest deadly violent crime, a product recalled, and another corrupt, morally bankrupt politician. With such constant fear and negativity, someone might think that every time they open the door and step outside, they are going to be either shot, stabbed, or infected with a deadly airborne disease. But that's not the case at all. This was something that Aaron Craig learned after investigating a strange, sketchy white man parked just off the road on his property. In a clip posted on TikTok, Aaron holds the camera as he addresses the audience, informing them of the situation. Just got back home, and there's some guy that's parked in a strange white van in front of our house, he said. I have no idea what's going on, so I'm going to talk to him. I'm not sure what's happening. The minute-long video continues as Aaron makes his way to the vehicle with the unknown driver. But in the middle of the screen, there's text that reads how Aaron was blown away by what he eventually found inside the vehicle. Sketchy van parked out front of our house. I did not expect this, the text reads. About halfway through the video, at the 27 second mark, Aaron eventually makes his way to the passenger side window. The driver is an older man. He explains what he's doing as he holds up a painting of a beautiful sunset and landscape. You know, over the last 25 years, I'm pretty much a forgotten human being, the man says, but I keep working at it and I'm trying to be an antidote to the way the world has gone. As the video shows, the van's interior is covered in paint. Paint brushes and empty paint tubes decorate the inside of the strange white van. At the end of the clip, Aaron states that the man is actually a painter. He does amazing shows all over the place. Aaron adds that the man in the white van has been documenting this land for like 40 years. Do bad and terrible things take place in the world? Yes, of course they do. Using common sense and exercising caution is always a good rule of thumb. But living in a constant state of fear and worry does nobody any good. Have no fear, for I am with you. Do not be looking about in trouble, for I am your God. I will give you strength. Yes, I will be your helper. Yes, my true right hand will be your support. Isaiah 41.10 Steve Harvey tears up as he recalls how actress Kim Fields' mom saved his TV show. Written by Adam Staten, read by Adam Staten. Comedian and actor Steve Harvey teared up during an interview with actress Kim Fields as he recalls the moment her mother helped him during a low period in his career. What a touching story. People have a tendency or a habit of looking at those individuals who appear on television shows or in movies as impervious to fears, failures, or pain. But they are nothing more than people, like everyone else, standing and acting in front of a camera reciting lines written for them. In a clip posted on YouTube, Steve recalls a time in his life when he was having a crisis of confidence. As he mentions, his television show was on the verge of being canceled and taking off the air. He was afraid and didn't know what to do or where to turn. But thankfully, Steve turned to someone who gave him advice and the confidence to get back out there. The woman who helped Steve was the mother of the Facts of Life actress, Kim Fields. Steve had Kim on to talk about her new book when he spotted Kim's mother in the audience. When Steve saw her, he immediately got out of his chair, walked off the stage, and greeted Kim's mother with a loving embrace. Both Steve and Kim's mother had tears in their eyes. Once Steve returns to the stage, he explains how she helped him. Let me tell you something, Steve said. I'm telling you right now, they was going to put me off TV. I ain't know where I was going. This woman sat with me for 12 hours and turned me into an actor overnight. 
I went back the next day and did, they decided to keep the show. I was done. That girl right there, she saved me. I was done. I was done. Everyone needs someone like that in their life. Someone who believes in us, even when we don't believe in ourselves. Those people can and do change lives every day. So that we say with a good heart, the Lord is my helper. I will have no fear. What is man able to do to me? Hebrews 13, 6. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.